Batteries are all around us. Many of our things, including our household items down to our personal things, are run by batteries. Watching this video, you may be using your laptops or smartphones which are powered by batteries. When you go to places, you use transportation vehicles which are battery powered. When you attend concerts, the electronics and communications equipment used there are also powered by batteries. Should you need to consult healthcare professionals and hospitals, they may be using health equipment that uses battery. While you think electricity alone powers the world, you may have to think twice since we have the humble batteries. Hence, the battery industry has been very competitive to produce the class leading battery. There were many attempts on the different battery materials, but none could compete so far to this new discovery of battery that can run for about 28,000 years. Yep. You heard it right. This battery could power your mobile devices for 28,000 years. That's even past our lifetime. This is the Nuclear Diamond Battery. Join us today as we amaze ourselves with this wonderful battery. It's indeed shocking to know that this battery can do with its lifespan, but a normal consumer would also think about its safety to human health, as we are talking about nuclear materials. Is it even possible? Or is it even safe? Would it explode once misused? Just like normal batteries available in the market today. Let's find out in this video. While many people are in disbelief, some other people wouldn't agree to use this battery for the fear of the harmful radiation that these nuclear materials can produce when in use. However, it is the standard claim that the waste from the process of generating power from nuclear materials can be the power source of the future. The projection of how much these nuclear diamond batteries can do is but a huge transition from the standard lithium-ion batteries that are rampantly used by the world today. While lithium-ion batteries have proliferated and benefited, to say the least, the electronic devices, they have drawbacks and disadvantages, making many scientists believe the then impossible batteries are better batteries. Presently, electric cars are using lithium-ion batteries, which are efficient and energy-saving in some ways, but they still lag behind gas-powered vehicles. Currently, these electric cars only provide decent driving ranges. Another drawback is that lithium-ion batteries take a long time to charge. Approximately, it would take an hour or more to charge the whole car to full battery, which means you as the owner of the car could be tied to a charging spot for a long period of time. It is a hassle compared to minutes of waiting in filling up a car's gas tank. One more concern is that lithium-ion batteries are costly despite the significant drop of prices over the years. Still speaking of electric cars, it is without a doubt that lithium-ion battery is the single most expensive component, making electric cars more costly than its regular gas-powered counterparts. Still another concern, lithium-ion batteries degrades its capacity over time, as obvious in most smartphones used today. To get a picture of this concern, just compare your smartphone 3 years ago, when you first purchased it, to how it is right now. Probably your smartphone may struggle to hold a decent charge these days. Pretty much disposable, isn't it? As for the electric cars, you may have to change the battery when the degradation cuts the capacity to a certain percentage, even if the rest of the car components are in excellent state. Mind you, changing the battery is an expensive step in maintaining your car. With all these drawbacks, scientists never stopped experimenting with a wide range of battery materials to arrive at the perfect battery. Once, they considered solid-state batteries which are advanced form of the lithium-ion battery, with some benefits like enhanced safety and longer higher energy densities. They even looked into graphene batteries, lossless batteries, and many more, but none can stand against the longevity of nuclear diamond batteries. Opposite to normal people's fears, these nuclear diamond batteries that can last thousands of years can actually help the environment as they use up what could become a safety hazard. 
In 2016, a team of researchers, physicists, and chemists worked together at the University of Bristol on what they called a beta voltaic device, a name they coined since this device is powered by beta decay of nuclear waste. In the span of their study, the batteries came to be known as radioactive diamond batteries. Beta decay happens when an atom's nucleus has an excess of particles and releases some of them to obtain a more stable ratio of protons to neutrons. This process produces an ionizing radiation called beta radiation, which involves a lot of high-speed high-energy electrons or positrons known as beta particles. A typical beta voltaic cell consists of thin layers of radioactive material placed between semiconductors. As the nuclear material decays, it emits beta particles that knock electrons loose in the semiconductor, creating an electric current. However, the distance from the semiconductor lessens the power density of the radioactive source. This means that nuclear batteries are much less efficient than other types of batteries. But the team of scientists found the fix for this. Polycrystalline diamond or PCD radioactive batteries are made through a process called chemical vapor deposition, a process that is also widely used for making artificial diamonds. To fix the problem on the radioactive diamond batteries, the researchers modified the process to grow radioactive diamonds by using radioactive methane, containing the radioactive isotope carbon-14 which can be harvested from a radiated reactor. Graphite blocks these diamonds and can act as a radioactive source and a semiconductor. When exposed to beta radiation, you'll get a long duration battery that doesn't need to be recharged. Hence, the nuclear waste in its interior fuels it over and over again, allowing it to charge itself for ages with very little to no measurable degradation over hundreds of years. Theoretically speaking, a single battery can have a span of over a thousand years without replacement and without the need to recharge it. Startups active in nuclear diamond batteries capitalizes on Nano Diamond Battery, or NDB. The company is basing its batteries on high-powered diamond-based alpha, beta, and neutron voltaic formulas for long-life and green energy batteries. It aims to power devices ranging from small energy functions to high energy consumption devices such as space rovers. Imagine how convenient it could be that these devices can run on its own for thousands of years. That is without the human intervention trying to recharge or replace the batteries. NDB has been building its nuclear diamond batteries by using layers of tiny paneled nano diamonds. The company prefers diamonds because of their exceptional heat conductance which makes them ideal for electronic devices as they are best known natural conductor of heat and are 3 to 4 times more effective than copper or silver. After sourcing these nano diamonds through the process called chemical vapor deposition, NDB combines them with the radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium from radioactive power plants waste. These single crystal diamonds with a size of a few square millimeters move heat away from the radioactively decaying isotope so quickly that the transaction actually generates electricity. The decay sources deposit their energy onto the NDB transducer, which converts the kinetic energy of the incident radiation to electrical energy. Each battery cell produces a small amount of energy, which can be combined in huge numbers to regularly power large devices. The tiny size of the nano diamond battery cell is but an advantage for scalability. A wristwatch, for instance, consumes around 2 microwatts and so needs only small NDB cell. The number of stacked cells can be increased to meet the demand of larger devices. Nuclear diamond battery is also imagined to power satellites or space vehicles. This time, NASA would not have to shut down other features of the satellites so as to power it for as long as possible. With the nuclear diamond battery's lifespan, it is possible to power electronic devices for like an eternity. 
even electronic devices that are implanted in the body, such as pacemakers and hearing aids, can be installed once in the lifetime without having to perform surgeries to replace them when the batteries wear out. More than its amazing power, it also contributes to safe environment since it is also generated from nuclear wastes. To say the least, United Kingdom has almost 95,000 tons of graphite blocks and other wastes. Through the process to generate NDB, it reduces the challenge of storing these wastes as it generates another form of energy this time in the form of a battery, which can last thousands of years. Once fully available in the market, we won't have to fear power outages when using our devices or we don't have to replace batteries over and over again so as to run the devices and to keep it doing its best. We can perhaps have better travel experience, concert tours, and even medical procedures. There is probably no limit to the wonders of this wonder battery. Who knows? This could be one of the solutions to world energy crisis. Don't you think so? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section.